Well, Cathay has a new super unit, and it comes in the form of Barrett 50 calibers being shipped to the Far East. The new crane gunners are hilariously busted on patch 1.2, and their ascendancy came from a very simple change. In this most recent update, Cathay's answer to the Warfox Zale went from 30 to 35 AP, which is a sizable increase, received improved accuracy and calibration area, and their projectiles now penetrate multiple models, which has Leonardo DiCaprio shaking in his boots. Sorry, I haven't used that one in a while. Anyway, if you're an infantry unit, crane gunners can fire through your entire formation with shield breaking, armor piercing volleys, and the results are pretty absurd. Which is intended, but I'm not sure CA meant to push them quite this far. They did say in the patch notes they want crane gunners to be an elite choice that outperforms Skaven Gisales, but comes in at a substantial price point, so alongside that list of buffs, their price was increased 25% from 900 to 1200 gold. So in our first example, I wanted to see just how impactful the penetration really is, and the answer is very impactful. It's the crux of why this unit is absolutely crushing enemies before they even enter melee. From what I can tell, a single projectile can hit at least four infantry models, and multiple times I saw groups of seven or eight models in a line stagger simultaneously. I was not able to 100% confirm that one bullet was causing that to happen, but it certainly looks that way if they're all staggered at the exact same moment, so I'm gonna go with leaning towards I think it's probably able to penetrate the entire formation as long as it doesn't hit some kind of prerequisite like maybe killing a model. Needless to say, when you're taking a unit that couldn't hit multiple ranks at all, and then giving them the ability to punch through half or all of a single regiment, that is a large increase in DPS. And it's not just theoretical, it's practical. We can see it with the HP bar on the Zar Guard. My Zar Guard, with their silver shields, 90 armor, and elite price point of 1,000 gold, are completely unable to even enter melee combat before routing. And that is with their By Our Blood Unbreakable passive, which gives them unbreakable for 30 full seconds. Now, one thing I want you guys to pay attention to as we do these tests is that I don't have any infantry in support at all. My crane gunners aren't getting any buffs from Harmony, they aren't getting any buffs from the Lord Magistrate, they don't have any melee troops to meet shield for them or flyers to support them in any way. This is, in some ways, worst case scenario for a ranged unit. There is nothing between them and the enemy, which is obviously not how it's gonna work on a real battlefield. So let's shift to a more realistic test with four crane gunners against four core warriors and a bloodthirster on Overwatch. Now, one thing I've noticed is that when crane gunners have any kind of elevation advantage over an infantry target, say goodnight. They'll deal upwards of 2,000 damage in a single volley, which means they will four-shot a full unit of shielded chaos warriors from max range. So, if you have two units firing at a single target, that infantry is routing in the time it takes them to fire twice. They're performing more like organ guns than snipers. They're performing more like artillery. And remember that cannons can't kill an entire infantry formation before they close into melee. Also remember that their original role in the series is that of a sniper, to take out high-value SEMs and CAV, which is something they're even better at doing now. Also remember that their original role in this series is that of a sniper, to take out high-value SEMs and CAV, which is something they're even better at now because they have more DPS. Bloodthirster had essentially no HP when he made it into melee, He's going to get jabated away from my line by the Magistrate so the Gunners can finish him off. Then we'll turn our attention to the rest of the Infantry Horde, which predictably will be massacred and routed off before doing much of anything in CQB. Now one thing I will say is that CA seems a lot more willing to make substantial or even drastic balance changes in the span of a single patch, which personally, I really like. When a unit is trash and we wait months or even years for it to get fixed or improved, it's no fun for that change to finally come and then we find out, oh yeah, great. They got like plus two melee defense or plus three melee attack. No one cares. But with that said, when you make drastic balance changes from one patch to the next, sometimes you get some pretty wacky results and possibly push things too far in the other direction. And as we continue the test here, that's kind of where I'm leaning. Their DPS might be a little bit too high against too many different kinds of targets for a unit that costs only 1200 gold. Even Sisters of Avalorn, aren't going to route off a unit of Silver Missile Block Chance Elite Infantry before they close into melee. If you have four of them firing at a target, sure, but one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano, that's not going to happen. Now, this next test, four Chaos Warriors, two Exalted Bloodletters, and that first volley deals 1,800 damage to the shielded unit out of 9,000 total HP, which is one-fourth of their HP from max range. It's even worse for the Exalted Bloodletters, 
We're down to half HP after only two volleys, and they're not even a third of the way through the Crane Gunner's fire arc yet. I mean, this is one single unit firing at each enemy infantry, and they're dealing this kind of damage. It is brutal. And in a series that has long had issues with melee infantry feeling a bit anemic, and the ranged meta and monsters kind of dumping all over their chests, especially in campaign, I'm not sure that's really the way we want to see how they're designed. Perfectly happy to see the Crane Gunners get some improvements. They weren't crazy good in the last patch. I think they deserve some buffs, but yeah, I think the projectile penetration here is at least a little bit overtuned in its current form. Because if we threw in the reload skill increases, Harmony, Veterancy, and Lord Magistrate support, we'd be getting into comical territory. And I'm not even doing anything there. I'm not stacking any of that at all. These are the base units. I'm legit AFK right now, and the enemy infantry is just gone before they're even into melee. Now, just to be clear, Crane Gunners are still hard countered by Furies, a unit that, of course, four demonic or five demonic factions in Warhammer 3 have access to, and it's a unit that Cathay can sometimes struggle to deal with in multiplayer. Furies are very good at shutting them down, but essentially all range units in Warhammer 3 struggle to deal with Furies, and this has very little impact on campaign because the AI does not know how to use them effectively. If you use your Longmas correctly as Cathay to clear the skies, then your Crane Gunner should have plenty of time to rack up insane value against whichever target you're shooting at, whether it be a high armor SEM or enemy infantry. So to give you guys a better idea of what I personally expect from elite range units, let's take a look at the Celestial Dragon Guard crossbows and how they perform in the same situation. You'll notice they do quite a bit of damage, but every single enemy infantry makes it into melee. And in a real battle situation, they would need infantry to support them to tie down the coordinate units and give them space to fire. One unit firing into one enemy unit, they aren't able to get most of them past half HP, which doesn't mean they're bad, they're not. They're a very good crossbow unit with a ton of armor piercing damage, but crane gunners only cost 150 more than them and are close to doubling their damage output while also having much longer range and a much faster projectile which does not seem right to me. So, I don't know. As you see them drop some hot steamy turds on the Tsar Guard once again, how do you feel about this unit after the buffs in patch 1.2? Are you happy to see them Barrett 50 their way through hordes with BMG anti-material rounds? Do you think they're balanced in a, in a good spot right now, or did CA maybe go a bit overboard with this unit? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Indie Pride, signing out for now. Have a good one, guys.